Hi everyone. Welcome back to week four, J term on Monday of the final week. Can you believe we're at the final week already? How crazy is that? All right, so obviously I'm not there with you and here is the reason why. Here we are. So Saturday night, started to feel some labor pain. Sunday morning, uh, came here to Central Baptist this morning. I'm recording this still on Sunday. So the little girl here is not even a day old yet. Um, <clears throat> and then I uh, had the baby about 3 a.m. this morning. So, fine. Now, uh, so I won't be there with you today. So I wanted to record a little video to set it up. But of course, let me tell you a little bit about... Drum roll, please, on the name. Someone in the room, drum roll. Okay. <laughs> so... We named her Lucille Marie Baffin. Lucille Marie Baffin. And of course, we're going to call her Lucy. Okay, so that's his little Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. You want to say hi? She's less than a day old. Yes, she is so cute, right? All right. So there's Lucy. So I won't be in on Monday, and I may not be in on Tuesday. So I want to give this little video, set up your work for Monday. And if I'm not there on Tuesday, I'll do another one. I'll set up your work on Tuesday. We're in the final week of J-Term. So we've got two big projects to do. Number one, I want to introduce you to the local level of government. Okay, we've been starting really big picture at the federal constitution. And we've been narrowing all class long. Here we are in week four. Now we're getting really narrow, focusing on Lexington. All right. I'm going to, did you hear a little sneeze happen? So, little baby sneeze, how awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do this video in two parts because I've been having trouble recording tonight. Part number one is about what I want you to do on commun on focusing on Lexington. Part number two, which I'll break up into a separate video, is on the work to do in the second half of class. Okay, first half of class, I have a series of videos that I want uh, your, your instructor for today to show to start to get a sense of local government. We're gonna start big, Sim City. like what does it take to actually run a city? At that really basic level, it takes electricity, plumbing, water, tons of things that no one ever thinks about, but it all is the infrastructure that it takes to run a city. A little video to get a sense of that. Second is we're gonna look at what, in a really nice motion graphic video from England, what does local government actually do? And you would be amazed at how similar the role for local government is the entire planet over. So there are lots of different systems of government, as Ms. Morell has taught you, but when it comes to how to run the local level, they all feel the same most of the time all over the whole planet. All right, so that's a really cool thing. So you'll see just how closely related that video from the UK is. Then we're going to hear from Mayor Gray. He gave his State of the City speech on Tuesday. He's, he put out a little two-minute overview of the big projects that they're working on both last year and this year upcoming. So a little two-minute video from Mayor Gray. And then the last thing you're going to do in the first half of class is just like we did for the federal government when we looked at the executive agencies, we're going to look at the agencies of local government. Okay, so you're going to go to the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government website. You're all going to randomly pick from that list of services Pick one of the things that Lexington Fayette Urban Government does and then do a little research on it for a few minutes and report out to the class. If everyone reports, we'll get a pretty broad sense of how to run the local government. All right, that's the end of the first half of the video. And now we're going to pick up the second half of the video in the next one.